we begin, obviously, with what everybody's been talking about since yesterday. You know, it was, A, it was good to see Carolina play. There had been a lot of debate all week about that. Uh, and I hope they continue to play, which there's more debate on today. As I just, I, I hate to not see these teams not try to embrace history. I understand their goal and their main goal is to arrive in good shape at the start of the season and win a Super Bowl. But I think when you have a chance for immortality, you chase it. And I hope they do. But that's the story for another moment. The first story is this. I have been, I think, more than most, and because it's something that irks me, I hate the behavior of these players now. And I have been on Beckham many times this year about the stuff that's gone on. And what I've seen to, in the last couple of games, the wagging of the tongue, the nonsense in the end zone, the me, me, me stuff, to me it all boiled over yesterday in one of the worst, worst performances and worst, you know, completely me you know, self-aggrandizing, just nonsensical, dangerous at times performance by Beckham yesterday. I mean, here's a case of a player who just has gotten so big so fast, while his team has won absolutely nothing, which is what you detest about what goes on in sports now. All you have to do is make it about you now in this world of video and fantasy and statistics, it doesn't even matter if your team wins. In the old days, your team had to win before you got the spoils. Now you get the spoils when your team is lousy. And he's played now on a second straight bad team. He is a brilliant talent. Put that aside. That's not even a question that he's a game. Does he have the best hands I've ever seen? No, he does not, as we saw yesterday. Is he a game-breaking performer of the highest order? As physically talented at that position as I've ever seen. But also what we have seen now is the Giants are afraid of his talent. They are afraid of him. I mean, well, instead of them doing what they were supposed to do yesterday, instead of the officials doing what they should have done yesterday, what we saw was a display that was so outrageous, that was so over the top. And I'm not one who worries about physical football. Although the one play that everyone will talk about when he came back to deliver the helmet blow, that was downright dangerous to both of them. And luckily nothing happened there that had any severe repercussions. Norman was acting up yesterday. Beckham was so far over the edge and in such a place that I can't remember another player... Terrell Owens on his worst day. Randy Moss on his worst day. Never even approached what we saw from Beckham yesterday. And the idea, and to me, everybody who has any bit, any inkling, any iota of authority inside the Giants is guilty. They're guilty of letting this kid do whatever the heck he's wanted since the day he stepped on the field. They did this with Shockey and they ruined him. They're going to ruin this kid the same way. He's better than Shockey. He's much more talented than Shockey ever was. They ruined Shockey because they never said no to him. It's like a little kid. You don't say no, you're going to ruin the kid. They're going to ruin the player because they've let him now do whatever he wants. It's about him. Everything's about him. That wasn't about the Giants yesterday. That was about him. I dropped the ball against the guy that I waited all week to perform against, and now I'm out of control. And just the way he acted after he dropped it, it's on me. What do you think? We didn't know it was on you? Who do we think dropped the ball? Somebody in the upper deck? Somebody blocking on the line? We know you dropped the ball. Get over it. Move on. Instead, what we got was a game filled with so much garbage. And I'm telling you something. I don't know what was going on with Tom Coughlin yesterday. I don't care if you need to win the game. I don't care if your career's on the line. You cannot tell me that Tom Coughlin has gotten to a point where he is not going to in any way reprimand a player who acts like that on an NFL field. So now you leave it to the NFL to do your work. Because you didn't have the gumption to take him off the field. Hopefully now the NFL will look at that and say, this guy's getting suspended. There's a lot of rumors now that he will get a game suspension. He should absolutely get a game suspension. 
And you're Terry McCauley yesterday. You go over one time and you tell Tom, Tom, either you take care of this or I'm taking care of it. And how he was not ejected from that game, I suspend McCauley for not throwing him out of the game. Because you're going to tell me you're supposed to police the game? How the heck did they police the game with that garbage going on? Play after play. Who was he helping with that? Who was he helping with three personal fouls, which could have easily been six or seven personal fouls? And yeah, down the last drive, he made plays, and he caught a ball in the answer. I understand that he's talented. Well, that's not the question here. The question here is, are you going to let this guy, with his talent, just basically run all over this franchise where there's no rules for him, there's no decorum for him, nobody on that team, not the owner, not the general manager, not any of the coaches, not the head coach, his position coach, the coordinator, nobody says a word to this guy. It's almost like they plead with him. They don't discipline him. They don't guide him. They plead with him. They beg him to stop. Everything with him is me, me, me. Make a catch, dance all over the field. Pre-game, put on a show. Wear ridiculous stuff on the field. Go over there to the mug to the fans during the game. Enough already. You're part of a team. And you're not even part of a good team. And I blame everyone. I blame the owner. I blame the general manager. I blame Tom Coughlin. I blame Eli Manning. You know what? Take them aside and say, listen, you can't do this. It's got to stop. Nobody there is going to say anything. You know why? Because what it's become is it's become an act where they're all bit players and it stars Odell Beckham. And that's it. It's almost like you watch a giant game and everyone's just waiting for Beckham to do something. Beckham, Beckham, Cameron, Beckham, everything Beckham. Beckham on the sideline, Beckham here, Beckham there. And if Beckham's not playing, well, then you know what? It's not anything else to watch. And it's almost like the rest of them are just walking around as supporting characters instead of being teammates. Maybe that's why the Giants haven't won in years now. Give the Giants credit yesterday. They fought back against a good team. They fought back. Things broke wrong. They had a big, bad part of the game where they got beaten up. Carolina helped them with some mistakes, but they battled back. They battled back because they have a quarterback who's good in those spots. They have a quarterback who makes plays in those spots. Is every play perfect? No. They throw a bad pick? Yes. But he made a lot of plays in that game, and they weren't all the Beckham. They made one to Beckham, and that's it. That's all that matters. It's all that matters to Beckham. Go over there and start mugging again after the kind of nonsense garbage that he put on there. How was he allowed to continue that? I mean, he embarrassed that franchise. He embarrassed everyone on that team. He embarrassed every coach who wore a uniform. He embarrassed everybody with a giant anywhere yesterday. You're going to tell me John Maris sat upstairs and was proud of watching that? If he was, he needs his head examined. You tell me Tom Coughlin was proud of that? I watched the post game. Tom didn't even criticize him in the post game. Well, he and I will have a talk. I'm not going to get into it with you here. Oh, really? No, Tom, let him run all over the field like a clown. You're going to tell me that's Tom Coughlin who came to the team talking about the team needing discipline? Want me to drag out Tom's first speech? The Giants are in desperate need of discipline. Oh, really? Where'd that go? That's how you're supposed to gonna run your team, Tom. It is time to leave. Because you know what? Why do you want to be associated with that? You gotta be kidding me. I mean, you gotta that's that's there's nothing, nothing. There's nothing you can in any way condone about what he did. That is just him. Trying to win an individual battle against the kid he went back and forth with who's got a big mouth too all week. So now we're going to do that, but we're going to make that bigger than the game. You went over and you saw the Col you saw the, the Panthers talking to Norman, talking to him. You saw the coaches talking to him. You saw everybody trying to calm him down. He tried to get out of it for a while. He tried to calm down. Beckham wouldn't let him. Beckham could have had six or seven personal fouls. He's sticking his hands inside the face mask. He's punching on every play. Wait till they look at this thing. And you know what we probably missed on TV? How would anybody in their right mind condone that garbage? And I don't care. You know what? 
there's got to be some things that are more important than winning the game. He was a part of the reason why that game got chaotic. He wasn't helping that team yesterday. Yeah, at the end of the game, he helped the team. I'm not telling you that he's not their best player. He is. They have two big-time players. We know that. Now you hear that everywhere. Oh, they have two players. Well, you know, I've been trying to tell you that all year. This team isn't that good. And he's a great player. I'm not saying he's not. But you know what? He's got a lot to learn. Because all it is is about him. It's not about the team. And it's not about winning. It's about his performance. I can't believe that he thought he could get away with that, but he does. And on the sideline, nobody they were pleading with him. Nobody did anything. And he's running up and down the sideline, supposedly yelling, according to the, the reporter, saying that nobody here cares. Should have been put on his rear end or sent to the locker room. And I'll tell you right now, Terry McGooley should be suspended for not throwing him out of the game. He should have thrown him out of the game. He should have thrown Norman out of the game. But he should have left first. And if the Giants aren't embarrassed by what way they put forth or this kid put forth yesterday, they should be. That was an absolute disgrace. And if that's the star player you want, he's all yours. Because you know what? That's not a star player to me. That's not a class player. That's not a good player. That's a guy who, for all his abilities, has become a complete clown in every way. He's been edging this way all year. And you saw it yesterday. When it didn't go his way, he acted like a three-year-old. A dangerous three-year-old. He's lucky he didn't get hurt. He's lucky he didn't hurt somebody else. But you know what he did? He completely damaged the legacy of the head coach and the image of that franchise. It made me sick watching that yesterday. Back after this.